my dear brothers, my dear sisters in Christ, the nature of God is love. God, by his very nature, is full of love. And he would always admonish you and I to always follow in his footsteps. That is why Jesus will remind us that greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. So in the first reading from the first book of John, we are being told of how God has loved us so much that at a point in time where no hope was in sight, he gave us his only begotten son in the person of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ says, Jesus Christ came to sacrifice for you and I, sinful humanity, so that he would save us. In the first, he's just reminding us that God did not only proclaim love, but he lived love. And his followers must also live love. Because if you and I are his disciples, if you and I want to always follow in his footsteps, then we must always allow love to lead. So John reminds us that we must try as much as possible and love one another and we love God in return. That is why in the gospel of today, we are told that Jesus, having proclaimed the word of God to his disciples, he realized that they were hungry. It was not only for spiritual food, he also meant to feed them physically. That is why when he threw the question to the disciples, they said, the place is dejected. Let them go and find food for themselves. He says, give them something to eat yourself. But they were asking us, how can we feed such a people? But we are told that even through this experience, our Lord was able to perform a miracle by giving them only two fishes and five loaves of bread. And we are told that they ate and they, they had their fill, their fill and in another, in another translation, we'll be told that they even had reserves. My dear brothers, my dear sisters in Christ, that is the God that you and I serve. A God who knows your needs, who knows my needs. A God who has loved us that much, and who wants you and I to also love our brothers and sisters that we encounter every now and then. So it is not only one-way traffic, it is you and I loving God and loving our neighbor. So my dear friends, even as you step out today, let us go out there and show genuine love towards one another. Our love for one another must be genuine. And as John says, it must also be sacrificial. We must sacrifice for the needs of one another. Because that is the ultimate prayer that Jesus paid on Calvary. Can we, you and I who are disciples not also step out there and show genuine love towards one another? Because Christ lives in us. Christ has enlightened our paths. And because he has enlightened our paths, we must also go out there and radiate his love and beauty wherever we find ourselves. It is my prayer as a Christian and for us as parishioners that we step out there and we allow love to lead us. Amen.